Hi, this is Michael Jansen from Tiny House Design. I wanted to give you a quick tour of how this 20-foot tiny house uh, shell drawing works and how you can uh, use it. If you look on the right, under the Scenes panel, you can find this by going to Window, Scenes, if it's not displaying. And I have some preset scenes uh, built here. This is basically just a, a view and you can save a view by clicking the little plus sign and that adds a scene. Um, so they're just preset views. You really just make a new view by you know, moving the model around, finding the view you like, and then pressing new view or add view or add scene. Sorry. So I drew this one as a basic tiny house and uh, I'm just imagining there's a bathroom in the back this is a uh, laundry, uh, space for a, a stackable laundry uh, washer dryer. This is a little utility room that's accessed from the outside. I imagine the kitchen would be right along the right here. And a, and a uh, shelf unit here that's two feet deep or maybe a uh, built-in closet. If you uh, notice, for instance, where I placed the uh, lofts, uh, there's space here for a uh, shelf unit under here. I imagine there'd be some kind of stair functionality built into the cabinet itself. But all that aside, let's get back to the drawing itself. Um, there are also some scenes here that show how it's put together. So here is uh, what would be a framed floor on a trailer and then how the different layers are added loft framing, loft decking, uh, gable walls, exterior sheathing, roof framing, roof sheathing, roofing, and then a couple or a couple or, or one interior view at the end. Um, but let's say this isn't the tiny house that you wanted and you want to change it. So it's just really, again, it's just a starting place. So I'm just going to start with this. Let's say you wanted to make it shorter. Uh, so first let me introduce you to layers. You can find layers under window and layers if it's not displaying. Uh, a layer is really just a grouping of things that you can show and hide. So in this case, uh, wall interior is where I've put all the interior walls. So if I want to make them disappear, I just uncheck that box. The way I added them to a layer is I selected the things and down here in the Entity Info box, which you can find here under Window Entity Info, I just assigned them to a layer. So you can move things, objects or groups of objects around into different layers just to make it easier to turn things off and on. I'm also going to turn off some other things like the wall sheeting. I'll go ahead and change the wall gable framing. And I'm just going to leave the walls. So these would be the framed walls. Let's say I wanted to build a shorter tiny house. First thing I'd do is I'd bring in the walls. Let's say I want to make it 18 feet instead of 20 feet. I bring the wall in one foot and all I'm doing is using the push-pull tool pushing and I'm typing in one and then hyphen for foot. And I'll do the same thing on the front wall. Now, I could have done it to just one of the walls and moved it two feet, but the other thing I want to do is move the trailer in and the floor in. And the trailer axle uh, is typically about this proportion. So uh, if you look at the trailer from the side, typically the, the axles are more to the back of the trailer than the front of the trailer and this way it doesn't create a heavy tongue weight and that's just how trailers are built and so in this case what I'm showing um, I'm just trying to keep it over the axle in the uh, proportionally that's why I'm moving it from end to end 
Now, in, a, in the drawing, in the final drawing, let's say you're designing your own tiny house, and, uh, and you want to design or draw plans, you would definitely want to make sure that your trailer measurements are exactly correct um, before you start drawing the framing, because uh, that will just throw everything off. Uh, the trailer makes a big difference, and all trailers are different. So there I go, I got an 18 foot trailer and an 18 foot tiny house. Now let's say I wanted to start getting rid of windows. Or let's say, I'm not going to do this utility room thing. I think that's a waste of space. That's cool. Remove the wall. Let's say you wanted to uh, remove this window in the kitchen. Or let's say you wanted to make it shorter because you wanted to use a shorter, shorter window. Just move things around. So it just gives you a nice, a nice way to start, uh, start a tiny house drawing and start your plan and start uh, daydreaming about uh, what a tiny house might look like on the inside. It also gives you a good base to begin drawing uh, the furniture, popping furniture in to see how the placement, how the space starts to uh, starts to change. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.